Hi, it's Patty from mmmgood.com and today I'm making a fabulous recipe for you. Not quite as healthy as some of my other recipes, but these are those magic ooey gooey bars. So for this recipe, you need to take graham crackers and make them into crumbs. And by doing so, you can put them into a plastic baggie, take a rolling pin, and just roll them out until they become to the consistency that you like. So in today's day and age, you can actually buy your graham crackers already in crumbs or you can put them in your Cuisinart. I just wanted to show you the traditional way, which was rolling them in a bag. So I have, I used a whole box of graham crackers and for the exact measurements for this recipe, you can visit my blog at mmmgood.com. So to this, I'm gonna add my butter that I've already melted and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. And I may add some more butter just I want to go by the consistency, so I'll have the exact measurements, but I'm hoping you're watching this and realizing some of these recipes, even though they're being baked, still need to be modified. And I can tell that the, the dough is not really sticking, the ground crackers aren't really sticking, so I'm going to add some more butter. So I went ahead and added a little more butter, and what I'm really going for is for it to clump up like that. Then I know it's kind of done and it's going to hold together after it's baked. So you can always modify it and add a little bit more butter, but you don't want to add too much as well, so it's kind of finding that balance. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in my pan that I've already prepared by spraying. And I'm going to press it all down. This becomes your crust. I used to use a meat pounder to get it all compound and pressed and nice. Now I just use my hands. So I went ahead and zoomed into the dish because I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm adding my chocolate chips and this is a medley of three different types of chocolate chips but if you don't have three different types all you really need is one. Basically you want chocolate chips to cover all the areas so every bite you get one. You don't want it to be overly chocolate chips or it won't be balanced. So that's how that looks. Next comes your coconut. Your coconut is going to just cover those chocolate chips completely. It's twice as much coconut as it is chocolate chips. And I use a mixture of sweetened and unsweetened coconut because my family doesn't really like coconut. So if I add the unsweetened, they tend to like it more. It's a nice balance. So as you can see, all my chocolate chips are covered and it's ready for the condensed milk. Now I'm lucky because out here we have a Trader Joe's and our Trader Joe's sells sweetened condensed milk in a bottle. So if I don't use it all, I can put it in the fridge. But what I start with is I always start with a can. Basically, you want to make sure everything is covered, which is why it's nice to have that condensed milk in a reusable lock bottle. I am going to go ahead and use my condensed milk that I got from Trader Joe's, just to fill in the blanks, the holes, because you kind of want it everywhere. Kind of want to cover it all up, but not drown it. I would, if you were only using cans, I'd probably use like one and a half can, and then you'd end up wasting some of that can. But it makes it very gooey. So I'm gonna make sure it's all covered, and it's ready to go into the oven. My gooey coconut magic bars are going to be everything that you need to satisfy your sweet tooth. Your guests are going to love them. They make a large quantity. It doesn't get better than this. So this is mm -mm good for sure. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Please subscribe to my channel and bon appetit.